Hello, I'm Christine Katanak. I'm an intergenerational missioner and I work for Hereford Diocese. For the last three years, I've been based mostly in ross on wye and now I'm coming to join you in Lugwardine, Withington and Sutton St Nicholas. I'm really looking forward to what God is going to do with us all and I wondered if some of you might be asking the question, what is an intergenerational missioner and what will that look like for us? Now, all I can really do is reflect on what God has been doing in the last three years in the places that I have been and um, hope that it will encourage you and inspire you that actually with very little, um, God can do amazing things. So have a look at this video and let me know what you think. Get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Looking forward to getting to know you all and seeing what God is going to do with us. It all began in January 2018 when seven of us intergenerational missioners began our work in Hereford Diocese as part of a five-year project. The point of our intergenerational mission was to grow churches, both spiritually and numerically. And to do that, we would use something called the growth cycle that looked at a more process form of evangelism based on the work of Stephen Cottrell, the future Archbishop of York. The first thing that I felt God inspiring me to do there came when I overheard a comment following the funeral of the death of a young girl called Lydia Cole, who sadly passed away really suddenly, aged just 18. The idea was to bless and encourage around 40 young people who came along on that evening who felt that somehow this was their church but they didn't come there on a Sunday and they didn't know the congregation. So the idea was for that congregation to bless and to welcome them and help them to know that they could come anytime and be in the church and remember Lydia. Another thing that came about from just a glimpse of something really was socks puppets. Now these fantastic puppets were created um, to use in an after school club at Brampton Abbots and the children there danced using these puppets to Christian music and they really enjoyed creating their own way of leading worship both in assemblies and in the church in front of their parents and open the book team in Brampton Abbots was another thing that I was involved with and the team really came together very easily and was so talented it didn't take them long to start running themselves. Toast was something that came about because we noticed that families would drop off their children at school and then walk back past the church with their younger toddlers or sometimes on their own and we wondered if the church might be a great place for them to come in and have a piece of toast and a cup of tea. On week one, we didn't have any people, so we had to bravely go out and invite people in. And to our great delight, they came in and they got to know us. And the idea of toast was simply to bless people and meet them where they were at and build relationships with families in Ross, which was something we really didn't have at that time. And from there we grew and we grew as word got around and people came along week after week and told their friends. And in the holidays we would have older siblings come and join us as well and have a longer session. And really toast was an amalgamation of the toast eaters and the toast makers who were the team that um, came together to make the toast every week and were just a great team who have continued on with this project and are hoping to go back into real life very soon. Who would have thought a piece of toast could inspire so much? Leaf was our youth group, which again grew from nothing and stood for last day of the week, eating activities and faith and was named by the young people themselves. We started out with just a little handful of young people and really over the course of two years, it grew into quite a good sized group who really became much more confident in talking about matters of faith and morality and having lots and lots of fun together and every year we would have our annual gingerbread making 
session and that was just great fun to do that together and as you can see it was certainly very well enjoyed. Champing was a great time that really brought together lots of church families and some of the young people from Leaf and from Toast to enjoy a great outdoor spot that we had in, again, another reordered church that made Champing a possibility that was enjoyed by lots of people. All age worship was something that we developed at Ross because the current 930 congregation felt that the family service wasn't really drawing any families. So we used um, the model of Sandra Miller, who's an Anglican priest, who's done a lot of work around all age worship. And we created services that were interactive and participatory and celebratory. And sometimes we asked people to do things that were very different and outside of their comfort zones. And sometimes we added things into the more traditional types of services um, so that they were just a little bit different. It involved a bit of a shift of mindset for a lot of people and people seemed to really enjoy it. The Alpha course had never been run in Ross before and really we ran it because we tried doing a different course and we found it didn't really work. But for some reason Alpha, I think it's the combination of the time spent together, eating, sharing a meal, watching the video and talking about our faith, it really brought people alive. And from these Alpha groups we formed home groups and people went on to do other kinds of courses and also it really inspired people to join in with the mission that was going on and to join and connect with people who were outside the church. And then as we came to the halfway point of the project, along came the pandemic. The churches all had to close during the first lockdown and virtually all of my work became online. So I had to run a toddler group online and youth group online and alpha online. And I also during that time, I learned how to make videos, which as you can see has come in really handy and is something creative that um, has made really good use of all the many photographs that we've taken. So I use this skill in other places. And of course, you may have seen that I started to use this skill right here in Barter Street Cross uh, with making some videos uh, so that the services could go online. The other thing that has happened during the pandemic is some pretty amazing things have been born. Messy Church was birthed in Ross and is currently also being facilitated by, by me in Wysham in Monmouth. And also at Withington we started our fourth at four o'clock service. Ministry became something that now happened in a bag that was organised three days in advance for quarantine purposes. We've reorganised the way that Messy Church can happen so that families sit together and all the activities happen on the table with a celebration socially distanced at the end. At Withington, we didn't have quite these problems because we've been so fortunate with the weather that we've been able to meet outside for many months of the year. Of course, something that's been really wonderful for me is that in the filming and creating of our videoed services each Sunday during the lockdowns has meant that I've got to know and start to love many of the churches in this area. We've had a lot of fun putting the services together and we really hope that they have blessed you if you've been watching them. As we walked into Holy Week with a fourth Sunday at four o'clock service in Withington for Palm Sunday, it just became clearer and clearer that the path that I was now supposed to take in this intergenerational mission was going to be in this area, in Barter Street Cross, 
and in Sutton St Nicholas. And I really started to feel a little bit more a part of things as we walk from church to church during Holy Week. And then on Easter Sunday, when lots of the families came back, even though it's pretty cold outside at Withington, and joined in with our Easter service, it really was so wonderful to be there and such an inspiring morning thinking about the transformation that the cross has brought for each one of us. My prayer for us all going forward together in this intergenerational mission is that we will learn to listen and to notice what God is doing and that we'll be guided, inspired and empowered by the Holy Spirit to join in.